G'day guys, today I'm organising my half of the wardrobe. So as you can see, we walk into the wardrobe to go into our bathroom. So it's really cluttered at the moment. I've just got a lot of clothes and I had to take out the containers to do other areas of the house. So you know that old saying, um, pinch from Peter to give to Paul. So I just Googled it. So the correct saying is rob Peter to pay Paul. Thank you, Google. So I've just been putting things on the shelf rather than in the containers. As you can see, my hanging space is just chock-a-block. There's too much stuff in there. I need to declutter. I need to resell some of it, I think, online. Um, and the coat hangers, they're all different. We've got a lot of wire coat hangers and they're not the best for the clothes. So I'm hoping that I can just transfer most of them to the plastic ones. I don't want to buy any more. I want to keep this budget and just use what I've got except for the containers. I did have to buy some more containers um, and they were $20 for six and I got them from the reject shop, but I'll talk about them a little bit more later. So if you're new, hi, I'm Ali. I am going room by room in my house to organize it. One of my goals for 2020 is to organize each room and find a system that works so that it stays the same. We declutter every year in spring and it just hasn't stayed tidy and organized. So it hasn't worked. So this year I'm using containers, some I've bought, some I've recycled from our apple and pears that come from the grocery store. They come in little plastic tubs, so I've been using them around the house. I'm trying to make it as budget friendly as possible, but I want the system to work. The other habit I'm trying to get into is a place for everything and everything in its place. That's a quote by Benjamin Franklin, and that's what I'm aiming for in each room. If this is your first video, then I've done the laundry, the family bathroom, toddler room, pantry, and now I'm doing my half of the wardrobe. Hubby can deal with his. He's naturally more organized than me. So when I'm organizing, I definitely find I make a lot of mess, but I'm trying to not make it too outrageous today. So I'm just gonna go shelf by shelf. Do you find that you make a big mess when you're trying to organize too? So each shelf I'm gonna dust. So using this duster that I got from Kmart for a couple of bucks, I'm just gonna remove all the dust before giving it a spray. Otherwise I find I'm just, it just becomes a mucky mess, you know, like you've just got wet dust and you're just smearing it around. So I'm gonna dry dust first and then I'm gonna give it a spray and a wipe down. Then I'm gonna kind of do Marie Kondo's storage method where I'm gonna put the clothes on their ends to store them. Um, I'm just gonna fold them however I fold them though. Certainly I found it much better having my clothes in tubs like this than just having it on the shelf stacked on top of each other. I just find that really difficult to keep it in a pile. It just wobbles and moves and they just don't sit well on top of each other. So the tubs work well. Like I've said, I've given all the colored ones to my daughter in her room for her toy organization. So I'm just gonna do clear ones in mine. One of these tubs will go when I finish breastfeeding. I've got one tub that's just breastfeeding friendly with long sleeve and short sleeve tops that are just easy access. My favorite ones are the $8 ones from Kmart. Um, they just have a pull down and a lift up tank top. And I find that really helpful just to have some coverage on the top when I'm feeding. I'd love to know in the comments below if you've done a capsule wardrobe. I don't tend to, but I'm kind of noticing that I really don't need to have my scarves out all year round. So I think I'm going to put some things away and my work clothes, I've got a lot there that I actually have to go back to work soon. Um, the end of March, I'm going back and I'll be doing one day a week. So I just really need one set of clothes that I can wear and then wash. So I don't need heaps of them, which I've got down there. Um, and the other thing I've been saving is netball skirts. Um, I do want to get back to playing netball, maybe some midweek netball. So I've got about five pairs of netball skirts there hanging, but I don't need them out all the time. If I do go back to netball, then I can just get them out of a box. So I'm thinking I'll put them away just to keep it a little less cluttered. Um, 
and I've got them for when I do want to go back to netball but they don't need to be hanging they've been hanging since we moved into this house four years ago and I've never worn them going to try and order the clothes up here from like jumpers to cardigans to like tops um, that's an old bridesmaid dress that never got worn so I need to think about reselling that as well I've tried selling it in the past and I've had some interest but it's never actually gone so I need to sort that out as well um, have you tried reselling things on eBay I've done some on Facebook I like to sell the kids things on Facebook um, but I might need to look at doing eBay I think and to help me, I've actually started following some resellers on Instagram <laughs> to give me that motivation and tips. If you want to see who I'm following, then you can just have a look on Love Happy Alley and you'll see who's there. I want to keep those Beatrix Potter books. They're vintage books and I really like them, but I just want to keep them safe for the moment, just until the kids get a little bit older. Try so hard to find my way. So down here on the floor I've got some rollerblades. I haven't used them in years, probably 15 years, but I want to do some more rollerblading. Um, I just always have in the back of my mind, can I afford to <laughs> fracture my wrist? And obviously I haven't rollerbladed when I've been pregnant or had a baby, so it's been a while since I've used them. But I want to keep them and give them a go. Now this plastic bag down here I bought off Wish and it was to help store shoes but there's nothing sturdy in it. So it's just material that's meant to separate where the shoes go and it hasn't worked. Um, it's just useless. So I'm gonna get rid of that. I think for shoes, there needs to be a sturdy holder rather than just something flimsy like that material because it doesn't stay. Um, those clogs, I actually got on a Kentucky tour. They're too big, but I just wanna keep them for now. They just make me smile whenever I look at them. Out of time, every day goes by so fast And every moment counts, baby, I don't want to miss a thing We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Under the stars We can do what we like, like We can do what we like, like Baby, while we are And we don't need to do the things we don't want to do. 
crikey that's a big pile of coat hangers so now I've got this all cleared out what I'm going to do is vacuum and then I'll show you what I've done Okay, so I'm going to do a big vacuum now. I didn't vacuum throughout it. My son was having a sleep below. He's in the room below and he needed his sleep. I just didn't want to risk waking him. He actually really likes the vacuum. I think he finds it really quite calming. And then I've been working away, like I said, with the coat hangers. I wanted to use what I've already got. So it's taken me a while to get it together. But I've got all the white coat hangers on the top and then blue ones down the bottom for my work clothes. Like I said, I'm going to be going back to work one day a week. So I've just got one set of clothes there. And then with these shelves right down the bottom, I've got a little toy for my son. When I'm getting ready, he can play with a little ambulance. And then each drawer I've done tubs, like I said, and I find this works really well. And then I've just done shoes on the top. I've taken the shoes off the floor and it looks a lot better. It looks like a bigger space, um, not as cluttered. So I've just got a shelf there with just shoes and those vintage Beatrix Potter books. I'm really happy with how it looks. It just looks spacious by not having as much stuff jammed in there. Um, and it's stuff that I don't regularly use so I think it's good to just have it put away and I can get it out when I need it So these are the two pieces I'm hoping to sell so that's brown sugar pants um, As you can see I did get them on sale, but they're a size 8. I was a bit optimistic I'm really a size 10 or 12 so I haven't worn them So I'm gonna try and sell them and this is a seduced skirt that I'm gonna try and sell as well I'm Thanks heaps for watching. Here's the series playlist if you want to see the other videos. So just click on that and it'll take you through so you can go room by room in our house as I'm organizing it. Thanks again. Bye.